Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to make your 2014 to 2017 and maybe beyond Harley Davidson touring motorcycle a little bit safer by adding some added visibility, especially when stopping. We're going to be installing these Custom Dynamics Magic Strobe Kits to my 2016 Harley Davidson Road Glide Ultra. We'll get into that right after this short intro. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome back to Touring Midwest. I'm Andrew, and to get this started, you're gonna need two kits for what we're doing today. The first one is the Magic Strobe LTP. Magic Strobes LTP. Uh, this unit is for the tour pack. And then the next one you're gonna need is Magic Strobes.RSG. This is gonna affect the brake lights down on the lower part of your motorcycle. So, pick both of these up. We're going to start with the main lights and we'll do the tour pack next. What these are going to do is create a strobing pattern when you hit your brakes so that you are more visible to the vehicles behind you. With all the distractions out there today, texting and cell phones and radios and GPS and everything else, you want to make sure that you are very visible to the cars behind you so you don't end up getting rear-ended at a stop sign or stop light or if you have to stop quick on the highway or any roadway really. And these are going to help do that. Let's start with the Strobes SRSG. We'll pull a kit out here and show you what it comes with. You have your instructions and you have this wiring harness. And that's it. It's all plug and play. Should be very simple. We're going to get into it as soon as I move the camera over to there. All right, the first thing you're going to want to do is just remove your seat. I've already got it unscrewed and ready to take off here. Again, all you have is the main harness and your instructions. The instructions for custom dynamics are pretty clear. It has the pack, the what the package contents listed right here, and picture right there. Your installation instructions right here, and some pictures on the back to show you what connectors that you need to remove, and then it shows you the settings that we're going to need. And there are like ten different patterns that you can use with this. We're going to select number six. Blast your X pattern for three seconds, then solid. So the first step is going to be to disconnect the negative cable on your battery. Now in a previous video, I did demonstrate how to access your battery. It's a little bit of pain in the butt on this new bike, on these new bikes with all the computers and wiring and all that in here. So I'll throw a link up in the pull cards, which are located over here, I believe. If they're not over here, they're over here. One or the other. So I'll throw a pull card up there, link to that video, and I'll probably drop it down in the descript description if I think about it as well. First thing you want to do is locate the connector that goes to the rear fender. It's one of these two here. So to verify, it's this black one here. Just push this button down, if you can see this, probably not. Let me adjust this camera just a little bit. There's a button right here, just push that and slide it right out. Now, this will only plug in one way, so you're going to connect these just like so. My battery on my other camera died so you're going to have to bear with me. And this one plugs in here just like so. If you can see where this is, maybe I can zoom in. The battery on this camera is going to die pretty soon too so hopefully we have enough. But this black, this black connector is the one we're working with. So after attaching that, you're going to want to refer back to your instructions. 
and it says reconnect the battery's negative battery cable to the negative of the battery. So do that. And then locate a secure place for the magic strobes unit that will not interfere with the secure placement of the seat or side cover. Use tie wraps or tape if needed, obviously. So let's go over the setup. Locate the two switches and rotary dial. All right, I had to crank up the ISO a little bit on the camera so that you could see. So here's two switches and here's the rotary dial. You want to make sure that the arrow is pointed at zero. Really hard to see in the video or in the, it's very tiny numbers, but there is a little teeny arrow pointed on here. There's also a slot, but the slot doesn't associate the number. You have to, you have to locate that little arrow. Make sure that's pointed at zero. Make sure both of your switches are in the on position. If you've got the unit like this, where your knob is on this side, your right side, if you're looking at it, put both of your switches up. That's the on position for both. So then you're gonna wanna turn your dial to whatever setting you choose. Again, the diagram's right here on the back. We're going with six. We want the blaster X pattern for three seconds, then solid. All right. Now I'm gonna put the camera back here so we can do the test and we'll go from there. All right, now we just turn the bike on. Got light, I'm gonna hit the brake. And nothing. All right, so it took a little bit of monkeying around, but I did figure out how to get it to work. Let me show you quick what it looks like, and then I'll show you what I had to do. All right, so that's pretty intense. It looks pretty cool. Uh, it's a great safety feature, but let me show you what I had to do differently to get it to work. All right, so their directions clearly indicate that it's this black connector right here. It, it would be this one. Once you take the battery compartment all off, it looks kind of like kind of a mess, but it's this black connector right here. That's what I tried to hook it up to first, and it did not work at all. So I don't know if it's because I already installed the fillers or what the deal is, but I started thinking, I installed the fillers back here on this harness, so why not just use that one? So that's what I did. I just plugged the magic strobe right into that harness, and I put it on the left side of the harness so it runs through comes through this way that gets all of the lights to flash including the filler panels so that's what I had to do I just used this this connector instead of this one and that did the trick it works fine now I just have to put everything back together again because I had to disconnect the battery or the negative cable on the battery and all that so let's go back to the back of the bike again so maybe you're thinking well that's great but the lights on the tour pack aren't flashing that's what we're gonna do right now I have to install another uh, module for that one so we're gonna go back around to the other side of the bike and get going on that all right for this part of the install you're gonna need the magic strobes LTP and we're just gonna lift up the lid for the tour pack because your connectors are down in here. Pull out our instructions. Once again, disconnect the negative cable on the battery. Pull out your wiring harness, your magic strobe. Comes with a few zip ties also, in case you need to 
secure any wires. I'm just going to set them in the tour pack for right now. So this is the one we're going to use right here. Hey, all you can do is try, right? So disconnect that. Plug in your magic strobe. We're just going to kind of leave all that there for now. We need to reconnect the negative cable on the battery. Then you want to look at your the back of your sheet and select your the setting that you want again. Again, there's ten different settings for the fl for the different flashes and pulses and whatever. We're gonna go with pattern six to match the rest of the bike. Blast your X pattern for three seconds, then solid. So there's a knob right back here. It should be set to zero when you start. Again, it's very tiny. We're just going to switch that all the way around until it gets to six. All right, we turn the bike on. Tail lights come on, so that's good. Hit the brakes. There you go. Right blinkers. Left blinkers. Hazards. All right, there you go. That's how to install the magic strobes from Custom Dynamics on your 2014 to 2017 Harley Davidson touring, mo mo touring model motorcycles. Again, this is a 2016 Road Glide Ultra. You saw that we had to make a we had to hook up the main harness a little bit different than what the instructions said, but it wasn't hard. I would say try it according to the instructions and if that doesn't work for you, try it where I hooked it up to. To finish things off, I'm going to just put the battery compartment back together, try and tidy up the wires and get the seat back on. There are a few other patterns. Again, like I said, 10 different settings that you can use. I like the Blaster X. The other settings are four flashes, then solid. Four flashes, solid for three seconds, repeat. Seven flashes, then solid. Seven flashes, solid for three seconds, repeat. Quad strobe, then solid for one second, then quad strobe. Quad strobe, solid for one second, then quad strobe, solid for three seconds, then repeat. Blaster X pattern for three seconds, then solid, which I chose. Pattern seven, constant blaster X pattern. Pattern eight, constant fast strobe, five seconds, then solid. Pattern nine, consistent fast strobe pattern. So it'd be a matter of preference. I am curious, I wonder if I can get this to do something separate than the rest of these. Let's check that out quick. Let's go to seven and see what happens. Let's try five. Alright, so there you go. That's pretty cool. You can set it up differently from the lower section to the tour pack. So you can have a little bit of an assortment. Maybe you want this to be constant flashing. Maybe, I don't know, you decide. Set it up how you want. Enjoy yourself. Hopefully this helps you remain safer when you're out riding around. 
coming to a stop, having to stop suddenly, somebody's behind you texting on their phone or whatever, hopefully this helps save your life. I think that's going to do it for this video guys. Like I said, hopefully, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. If not, I'll take a thumbs down. If you haven't already, please subscribe to stay updated and current with any future videos we put out. Other than that, stay safe out there, especially if you have some flashy lights. We'll catch you in the next video from Touring Midwest. Thanks for watching.